find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Sound of Music is my favorite musical. It's based on a true story. A young postulant who is kind of hiding from the world and she isn't very obedient as a nun. And so she's sent to be the nanny for these seven children. The captain has dealt with his sorrow from his wife dying by treating his house like a ship. And he's like the commander of his ship. And it's nice to see um, the layers be removed. and. And, there, and music is what does that. It's so wonderful to see the response we get to songs like Do Re Mi. You think you know it, you think you've heard it a billion times, but that smile comes to your face. I play the Mother Abbess at the Nuremberg Abbey. She really takes a shining to Maria. She knows that she's got a loving heart, and I think it's her goal to not just write her off. It's her goal to actually find her the right place. She's just way too wild to be in the Abbey forever. So I play Captain Von Trapp. He, at the time, is in the process of courting another woman, Elsa. And I think he's with her because he thinks he should be. But this other woman, Maria, comes into his world, who is the complete opposite of him. You mean to tell me that people of the neighborhood have seen my children wearing old curtains? Yes, they become very popular. Everyone smiles at them. And sort of wild and joyful. And the conflict for him is that it reminds him of his wife. So long, farewell, I'll be here to say goodnight. I have been looking all over Austria for something like this for the festival. And I find it here, a singing group of seven children in one family. I play Max Detweiler, and I come up with this plan that I'm going to get this family with seven children to sing at this festival. But Captain Von Trapp doesn't want me to, but I do it anyway. I will not bow my head to the men I despise. You don't have to bow your head, just keep a little. When horrible things are going on in the world, that's when they they reach for the, the happier things anyway. So we have the song saying, look, all this awful stuff is going on, but you know, the world is still turning and there's still wonderful stories to tell and songs to sing. Let's just do that. Somehow you know you jump up and go if ever he calls you a name. I think this story can resonate with any generation. Um, Liesl specifically, she's a 16 year old girl in love. She's trying to figure out how to become a woman in this time period with no one really to guide her. There's this underlying tension of change that's happening. But in 16 going on 17, it's kind of this way of blissfully ignoring that and focusing on, hey, we're going to be all right. I'm going to take care of you because I'm almost a man <laughs> and you need somebody to watch over you. Somewhere in my youth, childhood, I must have done something. It's that message of hope, I think, that carries through for the whole entire show. But when we get to that certain point where it gets really, really dark, you know, I think that is an important message, that you do continue on living. You do continue hope, being hopeful.